Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have brought you some very special occasions on The Late Late Show during the last 26 years, or so we like to think. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Tonight is the last television appearance of two very special people. It's a very sad night, really. They've known each other, these two, for 30 years. And when the bigger group of which they were members broke up in 1969, they came together. And since then, they've been entertaining countless millions of people all over the world, not only here at home, across the water, but especially in North America and Canada. And they finally called it a day. They're on The Late Late Show tonight. They do a week in the Cork Opera House next week. And then that is it. Would you welcome, please, Makeham and Clancy. <laughs> In Spines, the row by row, we're gonna make this garden All it takes is a rake and mow and a piece of fertile ground. In Spines, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warn them from below till the rain comes tumble. Sing it, Dutch, let's hear it. Come on. It's more wonderful, wonderful, don't mention that name here. Now, is this it now, lads? Is this it? Now, definitely, now. No, this is only it, one more time. Right, this is it. Oh, this is it? Yes. Definitely. Yes. Finish. Finish. 
I mean, I know for a positive fact that Joe Locke did 423 <laughs> final farewell performances. Well, now, are we going to have this again? Never right? say never. Never say never. <laughs> We're going to start a trio with Joe Locke called Lock, Stop and Barrel. <laughs> Well done. I like it. I like Thank you. It. This now, lineup reminds me of Philadelphia. Right? Philadelphia, indeed. Philadelphia. There we were in Philadelphia. Well, why are you breaking up? Come on now. Explanations. It's over a woman, actually. <laughs> God. No, not really. It, an end has come to a chapter. That's really what it is. We have to start a new one. You're tired. Well, you get travelling a lot and uh, things start to bog down a little. And when they do, uh, both of us are smart enough to know there's all kinds of fresh things that you have to be about. And uh, we have done a lot of this, but we're certainly not finished singing because we'll both be about performing and singing. So yes, but well, just, do, yes. you should know as well as anybody, my God, I listen to you every morning, every <laughs> night. Things do suffer from repetition. Now, you can say different things every day. We have to sing the same songs Oh, I see. Night. I thought you were trying to tell me something there from the... <laughs> I was getting slightly, slightly edgy there for a moment, I thought. I didn't know. But you, you split up before, and then you reformed. How did that no, come No, no, there were four of us before. Yeah, and that, but, but you... There was an American comedian called Jackie Leonard. Do you know who Big Jack yeah, Leonard yes, is? Yes, I do. He, yeah. We were performing in the Blue Angel with him one night, yeah. and he got mad at us one night he came in, and then the next night he came back, he wasn't mad at us. He said he came in and told us his wife was some cork. So he wasn't mad at us anymore, and he said he went out to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, this used to be a single Irish singer, and then they walked through their harp, and now they're a quartet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, as we did break apart. apart. You we did, did break yeah, apart yeah. in 1969 yeah. when Tommy yeah. left the group. And then he and I were doing separate television shows in uh, Canada. And I came over to guest on his spot, and he came over to guest out in Calgary on mine. Mm. And one of the shows, I'm not going to tell you which one, won a Canadian Emmy. But we were both on it, and we got a contract for uh, 26 weeks. And by that time, we had, well, 26 half hours, so that's 13 hours under our, under our belt of material. So we, um, we recorded an album with the help of a Scotsman named Archie Fisher, who gave us a song which I sang right here somewhere in the studio called the band played Waltzing Matilda. I remember. It became a big hit and it started us all, all over again. All over again, was that But it? we had yeah. been performing now, but this sort of gave us a kick in the arse and sent us on our way. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that on this program. Too. You can't say that on this program. You can't. You can't. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say give us a <laughs> kick in the arse. <laughs> so, so tell me, there's some of the highlights of the years together then. What about, what about the Tip O'Neill farewell? Somebody told me that you had a good night that night. Yes. Well, we were in, uh, we were in uh, certainly interesting company. Yeah. It was Ronald Reagan. We've heard Well, <laughs> you can make what you like of him. Um, Jared Ford, so there's two presidents. Um, Kennedy, not yeah. JFK, but uh, mm. Teddy. Uh, the entertainment consisted of Bob Hope and ourselves. Just that? And Gareth yeah. Fitzgerald. <laughs> and, <laughs> That's, Garrett gave a bloody good speech that night. It was he did. He was using Bob Hope's writer. <laughs> <laughs> was it he was good? short was he... and poignant and to the point and very witty, very upbeat. Garrett yes, was. It was all his accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. and, and did, and the rest great, on the list was yeah. the great victories of the Italian yeah. army. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who's yeah. who in Le Puerto Rico? Yeah. Le Le lengthy speeches we have heard. Yes. yes. <laughs> and what, what about what about yourselves and Bob then? Oh. Did uh, Reagan speak at that? Reagan Reagan was very funny. He was funnier than Bob Hope. He really was funnier than Bob like, Hope. And he like was for, awake. Uh, like for real. He was awake. Because he, has, he can afford. <laughs> no, seriously, he can afford better writers than Bob Hope. <laughs> no, I don't know. He was. he was able to deliver his lines. Yeah. I tell you. I see. They so it's hard straight after the camera <laughs> came off. <laughs> but we didn't uh, want to sing until they were all finished with their talking and the speeches and everything. Mm. But it was a wonderful thing to be invited to. There he was, Tip O'Neill, 50 years he is in public life, and uh, we had the honour of being invited to perform. He's no mean storyteller himself. No, he's not. No, he's good, good man. Good guy, good guy. All right then, so, so this is it then. 
This is it. Yes, I'm afraid it is. It's not because you hate each other or anything like that, is it? No. No, we come out with whip lashes at <laughs> six o'clock in the morning in Cork. Did you ever see a movie called The Sunshine Boys? <laughs> yes. Or the yeah. Odd Couple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whereas things go on, you know, year after year, yes. little things like. I told you not to say that line again! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it never came to yeah. quite that, but it, it was getting close. Well, now, I tell, you, I tell you what, I want to say to you both that, that I hope, in spite of this being the last and all of that in Cork next week, I hope that you do meet in the corridor sometime in two or three years' time and decide, what the hell are we doing here? We'll come back together again. That would be nice. <laughs> I uh, absolutely hope so. Who knows? Who knows? I, I share... I really do share the regard that most people have for you, both personally and professionally. And I do, will always remember, there's only a handful of people, ladies and gentlemen, in the 26 years of The Late Show, only a handful of people who have brought this show to a stop with a song, a real, real, precious, precious moment. And that moment was one of them when you did Waltz and Matilda. I remember that it was an outstanding, outstanding moment. Really, a very precious moment. So, so good luck to you both. By the way, this thing is another song. You're talking of highlights, and yes. I just want to mention this as an interesting aside. It wasn't the Tip O'Neill things, or it wasn't appearing at the uh, Royal Albert Hall or Carnegie Hall. It was walking down opposite the Gaiety one day when an old man was passing me by. Uh, he never looked at me. He grabbed my arm just as we passed, and he said, "Thanks for the years of pleasure." Well done. Well, can't knock that. Memory. Oh, shut up, you cynical old thing, for heaven's sake. I can see why you want to get away from it. I can see why you want. Now, you're going to sing us a song. Two fellas here are joining us. What, what, who, are, who are these fellas now? What, 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 what? Uh, Martin Murray from Watford. Yes. And Paul Grant, who is also from... Uh, actually, Martin is from my hometown, Carrick and Shore. <coughs> there you are. All the best but, people uh, come from Carrick and Shore. Yes, they certainly do. We're great, great bicycle Cyclists, riders. Cyclists. Great bicycle riders in Carrick and Shore. Fiddle players, singers, storytellers. And drunks. <laughs> what are you going to sing this time? Yes, yes, yes. What are you going to sing this time? A wonderful little song written by a neighbour of ours in the States, uh, a fellow called Dave Mallet, and he wrote a song about um, fiddle players up in Prince Edward Island on the east coast of Canada. Uh, they're as mad about fiddling up there as they are here. Uh, as a matter of fact, when there's a, a show on up there, if there's a fiddle player in the band, they hire six extra police. <laughs> I think Mr. Stocker should look into it. <laughs> anyway. The, uh, the fiddle playing, <laughs> the fiddle playing uh, gets them roused up so much that they, they really do have to have extra police on there. And he wrote a, a, a song about a sailor who was, uh, he was left by his ship that went off. He probably got drunk somewhere and he was sitting having a cup of coffee and a girl in the coffee shop invited him to a party, a house party. And uh, the fiddlers were playing and he had such a wonderful time and such, she was such a beautiful girl that he never forgot the tune they were playing on the fiddles at that time. It stayed in his memory and he could hear it in the wind as it whistled through the town of a December night. And the tune they were playing was called St. Anne's Reel. And this is called Here The Ballad right. of St. Anne's Reel. Make them a Clancy, folks. Final time. Here we go. He was stranded in a tiny town on Fair Prince Edward Island Waiting for a ship to come and find him A one-horse place, a friendly face of coffee And a kindly trace of what's in the fridge Far behind him, I forgot it And a dime across the counter then A shy hello and a brand new friend Walk along the street in the wintry weather A yellow light, an open door And a welcome friends, there's room for more Standing there inside together He said I've heard that tune before somewhere But I can't remember when Was it on some other friendly shore Did I hear it in the wind Was it written on the sky above I think I heard it from someone I love But I haven't heard a sound so sweet since then And a little boy says, I'll take your hat And he's caught up in the magic of her smile And leap the heart within a went When off across the floor He sent his clumsy body graceful as a child He said, there's magic in the fiddler's arm There's magic in this town There's magic in the dancer's feet And the way to put them down People smile everywhere Boots and ribbons, locks of hair Laughter, old blue suits and he's 
Mr. Don. And the fiddle's in the closet of some daughter of the town The strings are broke, the bow is gone, and the cover is buttoned down But sometimes on December nights when the air is cold and the wind is right There's a melody that passes through the town